Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Resident Evil 2 Claire B. Today we're gonna explore the police station. So let's uh, get going here. We're gonna go down to the ladder to the first floor and uh, use the blue key card on that computer to unlock the doors in this uh, hall here. I'm not gonna fight those zombies on the other side of the uh, balcony yet. That, that comes later. Maybe this episode. Okay, let's go down the ladder. Yeah, I like the second scenario better for each character. I don't know, it, it just seems more uh, action-packed and I, don't know, I always liked it better. Okay, let's use the computer just like in Leon's uh, playthrough. Yes, I will use a blue key card. Or a card key. <coughs> okay, we can get to that door, that door, and that door. So if I wanted to, I can go up that ladder and go through there, but... Uh, I don't need to. I don't think. Um, so yeah, uh, unlike Leon's scenario, uh, uh, instead of opening uh, this, instead of opening that door over there, I mean, no, actually, never mind. Um, I don't think you can. I'll get through this door here. I, I wasn't paying attention. Can I go through here now? Yeah, I think that's unlocked regardless. Um, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But, um, yeah, unlike Leon's playthrough, you can, uh, unlock the door up there, the double doors upstairs, but whatever. I'm, uh, rambling right now, so let's, uh, let's go through this door here, these double doors. Okay, um, yeah, there's zombies in here. Probably didn't have to kill that guy, but I wanted to anyway, for fun. Oh, there's, another, there's another guy there. And I think there might be another guy hiding over there. Shit. Oh, that was close. Yeah, there is another guy back there. <coughs> come on. Come closer. Ow, oh, you cock. Oh yeah, Claire kicks the heads instead of squash, squashing them. And uh, I forgot to mention, uh, Claire has a, a lock pick, so she can unlock any of the uh, drawers or desk drawers or anything. So that's pretty nice. Makes the game easier. Um, I'll take this first day spray. Why not? But she doesn't have a lighter, so um, that's the only disadvantage. So I actually have to find a lighter for Claire, just like with uh, Chris in a. Uh, Resident Evil 1. And... Should be uh, some handgun bolts here. Yep. <coughs> nice. Alright. Is this door unlocked here? No. Okay. And there's no liquor, because it already came down in Leon's playthrough. And I'll pick up these this herb here. Why not? Alright. Whoa! Whoa. Yep. Those guys come out of nowhere. You want some too? Oh shit! Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that was so close. That was so close. I got lucky there. Alright, you wanna die? Yeah, you do wanna die. I think he's dead. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> um. Yeah, I can't really go on. I'm not. I don't really have anything to do in there right now, because I don't have the lighter yet, so. We'll come back there later. <coughs> And yeah, Leanne already took out the zombies here. Or, actually, I took them out already. Okay, um, I'll pick up these herbs for later. And I'll use one of them right now. Just, just to cancel out that damage it took earlier. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Now I need to unlock that locker there. Actually, I might get these, uh, this clip here. Okay. Let's put this stuff away really quick. Uh, okay. Let's get that special key here. And unlock the locker. You know what? I shouldn't have reloaded my gun there. You'll see why in a second. Okay, yeah, I can uh, choose between one uh, special outfit for Claire, but I'm not going to. Well, actually, yes, I will for a second. Just to show you what it looks like. And there's an old gun here. Now, this gun is like the best uh, pistol in the game, not including the, the Desert Eagle Magnum or whatever, but we want this. Now, even though it has six rounds per per clip, it's very powerful and it shoots pretty fast. And it can take down one zombie pretty quickly with half the the, the bullets. So that's good. Um, but yeah, the reason why I didn't I shouldn't have reloaded my gun was because uh, basically just wasted ammo because I'm not gonna use this pistol anymore. So whatever. But yeah, this is Claire's uh, special outfit. I actually always use it when I'm playing on my own, but. For the sake of the LP, uh, I'll use Claire's regular clothes. Okay, let's uh, let's get changed here. All right, let's put this handgun away. <clears throat> and if it does come down to the point where I need to uh, have handgun bullets, I'll. I'll take that pistol out again, but I doubt I'll need. I doubt I doubt that I'll have to do that. But um, you know, I'm gonna pick up this uh, ink ribbon here, and I'm gonna put it in my uh, vault. I'll start calling this the vault. How about that? Okay. Um, is there anything else I need in here? Nope. All right. You know what? Actually, never mind. I was thinking I should probably take the grenade launcher with me, but I don't know. Don't think it's necessary. Okay. Um. I might. I might regret those words later. I don't know. Okay, let's go up these stairs here. Yeah, let's do this puzzle again. It's kind of funny, um, you know how I said, uh, that Claire's second scenario and Leon's first scenario collide, like, they happen at the same time? Well, some stuff contradicts that, it's like, doing this puzzle here, damn it. Yeah, some stuff contradicts that, it's like, doing this puzzle here, because, uh, Leon already did this in his playthrough, and I'm doing it again. It's like the, the puzzles reset themselves, and it's sort of like with the, uh, the crank in the last episode when I put put out the helicopter fire. Um, how can I have put it out when Leon already put it out? So that doesn't really make sense. But that doesn't don't don't uh don't let stuff like that you know ruin ruin the experience because it's, it's you know it's just a puzzle. Who cares? But yeah, the game's not perfect. But whatever. Okay, we got this, uh, the red jewel again. Come on, pick it up. Alright. Okay, let's go in here. good to see you're still among the living. It looks like we're not going to find your brother here after all. Aww. So yeah, this is the same cutscene from before except from, from Claire's perspective. Which is interesting. Kind of cool. Hey, I'm not going to read that again. Um. There's no reason for us to stay any longer than necessary. Let's split up, look for any survivors, and get out of here. 
Right. One last thing. Here's a radio. Take it. That way we can keep in touch if anything happens. Alright. Let's uh, look in this locker here. Yeah, we got a crossbow. Claire's a uh, signature weapon. I think she's the one that started the crossbow stuff in all the Resident Evil games. Which is pretty cool. Actually, no, it's not called a crossbow, it's called a bow gun. But whatever. What's this? Ah, we got the priest. The. I think that's a diamond key, right? Yeah. Diamond key. Nice. Alright, um. Let's go over here. There's nothing. Alright, um. I wonder if I can get another one of those Rebecca Chambers um, darkroom thing or film slide. Nothing over here. Okay. Um, oh, what's that? <clears throat> that didn't happen last time. Federal Police Department Internal Investigation Report. Mr. Chris Redfield, Rackin City. De okay, as per your request, we have conducted our internal investigation to discover the following information: one, regarding the G virus currently under development by Umbrella Inc. Uh, so far, it is unconfirmed that the G virus even exists. We're continuing with our investigation. Two, regarding Mr. B Brian. Okay, Mr. Irons has allegedly received a large summit funds and bribes from Umbrella Corporation over the last five years. He was apparently involved in the cover-up of the Mansion Lab case along with several other incidents in which Umbrella appears to have direct involvement. Mr. Irons had been arrested under suspicion of rape on two separate counts during his years as a university student. He underwent psych psychiatric evaluation as a result of the charges but was released due to circumstantial evidence as well as his phenomenal academic standing. As such, extreme caution is advised when, when dealing with him. Jack Hamilton's Section Chief Internal Investigations the United States Federal Police Department. Wow. I didn't know they could mention rape in a video game all that back then. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Um So yeah that's police that was a police chief they were talking about. Oh what's this? Uh oh Who's that girl? Help me! We better help her. First we gotta kill this guy. That's why I love this gun. Put that sucker down and like three bullets. It's a really nice gun. Alright. Let's go after that little girl. Oh shit. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's run past these guys if we can. Where did that girl go? Where are my handgun bullets? They're not here. No. Okay, let's use a crossbow. I'm gonna call it a crossbow. I'm sorry. See, this is why I wanted to bring the grenade launcher. Yeah, I could have taken them out way faster, but. Whatever, the crossbow helped me. I think that's good. Yep, they're all dead. Alright, let's open up this door drawer here for some more handgun bullets. Whoop de doo. Better reload. Alright. Oh shit. Yeah. I messed up. Big time. Uh Yeah. Probably shouldn't have come through here, but whatever. 
Well, that's about all the time I have left for this episode of Let's Play Resident Evil 2, Claire B. When we come back, we're gonna do some more exploring and stuff. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time!